Hi everyone, I am Namita Peparaya, your yoga and Ayurveda lifestyle specialist and today you are watching me on Health Shots. Today I'm going to specifically help you understand how Ayurveda can help you manage and improve your mental health. The number one thing and the most important thing with Ayurveda is that it helps you understand yourself better through an assessment process which is also called the dosha quiz or your prakriti assessment through which you understand your core nature, your constitution or in Sanskrit as it is called your prakriti. Once you have a good understanding of what your nature is, you will have greater clarity as well as empathy towards yourself, towards your traits, your habits, your personality and even uh, some of your propensities that we develop due to our nature. So for instance, if someone has a very strong vata dominance, there is a likelihood that they will be very drawn to the creative arts. So it could be music, it could be arts, it could be uh, public speaking, anything that requires creativity would be something that is often governed by vata because that deals with our mind and our nervous system. Now the other side of the coin, a typical vata person will like to do multitasking because vata like the wind likes to spread itself thin likes to disperse. So what would be a big challenge for a core Vata person is that they will be very creative but they will find it find it very hard to finish a project or if you're writing a book to finish a book if you're working on a piece of art then to actually finish it because Vata easily gets distracted. So this could be a source of stress and that is why by enhancing the other doshas particularly Kapha dosha a Vata dominant person can take their projects to closure and give their vata and creativity a framework within which it can flourish. So this is one way. Likewise for Pitta, a problem, a challenge would be that they tend to go too deep into a particular subject but if they were to little bit enhance the vata, if they were to enhance the kapha and actually execute and come up with an output related to that subject rather than becoming theoretical, it would help them. So that was one. Now, I hope that helped you understand that Ayurveda just doesn't mean diet. It is actually an excellent tool for self-awareness so you understand yourself better. In terms of doshas, uh, Vata dosha does well with the Hatha Yoga and Restorative Yoga. Pitta dosha does well with Restorative and Hatha and Kapha dosha does well with Vinyasa and Hatha Yoga. So that is again indicative because depending on the season, the climate, your uh, life situation, situation, the interplay of doshas may change. So in one particular month, maybe kapha is high for you, another month, maybe it is pitta. So it's always a good idea to tune into your body, to your mind and choose something that truly works for you, that makes you happy and that keeps you going. So these were a few tips. I hope that gave you some insight as to how you can use Ayurveda. Please feel free to take a dosha quiz to get started on your journey so you know exactly what personality type you fall into and then begin your journey from there. Alright, thank you so much for listening to me.